It's your thoroughfare, CKUA. My name is Tony King. Very soon, we're going to have one of the subjects that is a Sivik Kusichin. He happens to be the son of filmmaker Jules Kusichin, whose film Wapake happens to be screening also during the third Action Film Festival. We'll catch up with a Sivik very shortly on set in Albuquerque, in fact. But first, the film is a very heart-wrenching tale of intergenerational trauma precipitated by residential schools, directed by Jules Arita Kustachin. One of the subjects of the film happens to be her son, who's a very successful actor and producer himself, Asivik Kustachin. Right now, it is my pleasure to get on the line with Asivik, who happens to be on location. Where do I find you? Uh, I'm in uh, Albuquerque. You're in Albuquerque. What are you doing there? I'm uh, shooting a TV show. Oh, okay. And what role are you assuming in shooting a TV show? one of the cast of the show. You're one of the cast? Okay, so you're on call quite a bit. Well, I'm glad I could sneak you out for this quick conversation. And <laughs> yeah. we're going to talk about uh, Wapake, which screens at uh, the third Action Film Festival in Calgary. Your mom is the filmmaker in this case, Jules. And uh, can you tell me, what do you think inspired her to tell this story in particular? Hmm course it's about residential school and she felt just inspired to tell that story because she has her own experiences being the daughter of a survivor and her children me and my brothers have our experiences but it's not often talked about or shown on the media or in stories really there's, there's not much um uh, uh shared about it so she she took action immediately and uh, created this documentary to tell those stories. And uh, I think the inspiration really came from just holding on to all those feelings and passed down traumas and experiences. So can you tell me why was it important for you, because you're the grandson and also the son, uh, to participate in telling this story? Yes, there's a multitude of reasons. Uh, of course, just supporting my family in whatever way I can when it's needed. Um, I mean, growing up, you can definitely feel it. And mm-hmm. Even when I was young, I didn't know how to name it. Um, but as I got older and talking about it, I could. It feels like an overall really important thing to do, especially talk about our experiences and how we can support one another and move forward in a good way. Positivity seems to be a common theme in finding one's identity in the film itself. Um, how does that relate to you? It's having this positive outlook is something we practice as a family just regularly. So it's just a reflection of, of that in general, how we are. And I feel that how I operate and move through my life is I'm coming from a place of gratitude and responsibility. So my grandmother has been through all these things and our people and I just feel an incredible weight to live a good life and do what feels right because I owe it to my grandmother and my mother and everyone before me to live a good life it's like it's a heavy weight but it's a good one it always comes back to responsibility you know I have this I have this life I can live and living in the times I have choices and opportunity so I just have to do the most I can with it um, for myself and my family and everyone else. Uh, yeah. Whether well, you're indigenous or not, just, you know, just doing the best you can. Well, um, Asivak, I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, I know you're on the set right now uh, in Albuquerque, and you're an integral part of something there as well. And I appreciate you taking the time to, well, offer up your charisma and your um, natural charm uh, to, you know, point folks in the way of making a positive change in life. That is, um, that is applaudable, and I do appreciate that. You're very welcome, Tony. Thank you for your time. What a great pleasure to have a chat with us, Siva Kusichin. He happens to be the subject of his mom's film, Jules Arita Kusichin, an award-winning film called Wapake, is screening at the third action film festival taking place at Festival Hall in Calgary this weekend, March 22nd through 24th. For more information on the films and to get tickets, thirdactionfilmfest.ca.